Hi, I'm Darren with Iconics Imaging. I understand there's artists out there that like to use plotter cut vinyl for their sand carving needs. Uh, here at Iconics Imaging, we provide an alternative stencil called Photoresist. We've been making this film for several decades now, and I'd like to show you how the Photoresist film is going to help you save time, eliminate the weeding process, and create a high detailed image on your functional glass. Uh, today, I'd like to demonstrate one item in particular for your glass etching, and I'll get started with that right now. In this exercise, we used traditional plotter cut vinyl. Uh, we did an exercise where we did this design, photo resist and vinyl, and this project with the weeding only took about three hours of labor. So you can imagine what you could do in those three hours of time. So in the photo resist experiment, we did the same artwork and we exposed it with a quick image LED UV ultraviolet light, and we exposed it for approximately seven seconds. And you can see afterwards, it needs to be water developed. So you put it in a washout area. We used a 150 PSI pressure washer and developed the mask in under 30 seconds. So the whole process from exposing to washing out with your water source is less than two minutes. Three hours or two minutes. Which one's going to save you time and be a better production tool? R3 material is very pliable. It's got a carrier sheet to protect it so it's easy to maneuver the glass across the image. Uh, what I'm doing here is I'm going to roll the glass since it's a cylinder shape across. Uh, at this point, I'm just going to push on a little bit, uh, give it a good adhesion between the glass and the resist, pull out the carrier sheet once I'm fine with the look and design of where the glass mask meet. Since it's self-adhesive, it's going to attach itself to the glass. I'm just kind of pushing down with my hands, down on the resist, remove any air pockets they may be in the membrane, and I'm going to maneuver the mask a little bit since it is a compound curve. Reposition the film as needed. Very easy to work with. Depending on how the sheet of film align my glass, I may have a few areas that are unprotected by photoresist. So in this case, I use simple masking tape to fill in the gap. So that way the abrasive doesn't etch the glass in those areas. I just make sure everything's intact. Last step is you run a wire wheel, which is made of brass wires. It kind of perforates the clear membrane so there's no air pockets. So when you start with sandblasting, you're not gonna have any blow offs. Next, I'm gonna load the functional glass into the crystal blast machine from the side door. I'm gonna blast at 30 PSI with 180 silicon carbide abrasive. And I'm gonna hold my nozzle straight on the item at about four to six inches away. So the abrasive now is shooting at the mask. All the membrane is removed in one pass. So it's etching glass instantly. There is a, unlike plotter cut vinyl, there is a very thin membrane holding all the inside of your A's and E's. And in this case, it's the, the islands are all held in place by a membrane. So we're blasting that away and that's etching the glass permanently. You can use really fine media, coarse media. So if you're doing deep carving, you use a thicker photo resist. If it's finer detail, you use a thinner resist. This is a R3 material. So it is designed for thin glass in very high detail, high complex images. So here I'm just kind of running my nozzle across, just make sure I hit every spot. This design does have a lot of open islands, so I just wanna make sure everything's covered properly. Didn't miss any detail areas. Uh, in this application, the glass is about, a, I don't know, eighth of an inch thick, so I can't go too deep, uh, but I do wanna get enough so it's a good uh, feel on the carving. So here we are just kind of going a little bit deeper. I do small circles, kind of like an orbital sander, kind of creating depth a little bit faster. And you also get a, a smoother background as well when you do small little circles. And as you can see, gloves are not required in our machines. So the crystal glass lines. So if you're uh, like me, where you like to feel the glass, hold the glass, you know, you know these are high-end items, they're fragile. Uh, so by not wearing gloves, you have a better handle on the object. So the last step is we're going to take an air gun in the machine and rinse out any glass particles, give it a good clean look in case you're gonna color fill it afterwards or make sure all that dust is removed. Uh, what I'm doing here is I'm removing the stencil with a very fine terry cloth that won't scratch the glass. And voila, there's your final piece, fully sand carved, cleaned, functional glass. All right, so as you can see, the photo resist film process is very quick and efficient. Uh, those of you that do do hand weeding with final cut stencil know you have an alternative now to do detailed, uh, quick designs in your sand carving process. Uh, please, if you would, uh, to look for more information on the R series photo resist film, is going to link below. Click on it, check it out, call with questions, email. Uh, I'm looking forward to working with all of you, and have a blast.